name's Lindsay, and today I'm going to be going over the associative property. So the associative property can be written as A plus parentheses B plus C is equal to parentheses A plus B close parentheses plus C. So basically what it's stating is that with addition and multiplication, no matter what your order of operations are and where the parentheses are, um, you'll still get the same answer. So we can illustrate this by going ahead and putting in numbers for the letters. So for this first example, I'll use 6 for our A, and then for B, I'll use 4, and for C, I'll use 1. And so on this side, we'll write that out again with our A and 6, plus our B, which is 4, and then close to parentheses, and on the end, R plus C, so plus 1. And so if you remember our order of, of operations, we always start with parentheses. So if we start on the left side here, we'll go ahead and write the six because that's how sad for parentheses. And then we'll solve for our parentheses. So four plus one is five. We'll write that in. And that's equal to our other side. We'll go ahead and solve for these parentheses. Six plus four is 10. And then we have to remember to add the one on the end there. And so now if we go ahead and just solve each side, we get six plus five is equal to 11. And then our equal sign, 10 plus one, is also equal to 11. So we get 11 equals 11. Um, so that goes to show that this original statement that we wrote up here is true. So this also works for multiplication. So we could also write this as A times parentheses B times C is equal to parentheses A times B close parentheses times C. And so once again, if we want to do an example <coughs> and go ahead and put in some numbers for this, we can put our A as 2 and times parentheses. We can put our B as 4 and our C as a 3. So now if we go ahead and write this on this side as well. Um, we start with our parentheses, our a is 2, times our b, which is 4, and then times c, which is 3. And so if we go ahead and do our order of operations, we start out with this 2 on that side, and then we go ahead and do the parentheses. 4 times 3 is going to be equal to 12, and then we bring down our equal sign. And once again, we start with our parentheses over here. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. And then we have to remember the times three at the end there. So we write that down. And now we just go ahead and solve. Two times 12 is equal to 24. And then bring down our equal sign again. And then eight times three is also equal to 24. So that goes ahead and checks out. We get 24 is equal to 24, which is true. And so that goes ahead and proves that um, the associative property also works with multiplication, not just addition. And so that's a quick summary of how the associative property works.